Better Biking with Survival Skills. Since dual carriageway roads separate opposing flows of traffic, junctions are often controlled by traffic lights or, as on this road, use roundabouts to merge flows from different directions. And that means we'll have to deal with vehicles crossing our path. My first job is to discover the shape of the roundabout and where the routes go. Here, the sign suggests a conventional four exits at right angles. The lane markings give information on which lane to use. I can go straight ahead from either. Next, I need to check for traffic from my right. Obviously, I give way if I need to, but that's under my control. I just have to find a safe gap. But notice that line of trees in the hedge to my left. If there's a vehicle approaching, how likely is the driver to see me? That's important because once I move on to the roundabout, I can't prevent this driver from pulling out in front of me. So I stay to the right of my lane to maximise my clearance and view, keep the speed down and watch carefully for any sign that the driver might not stop. I keep a thumb on the horn button and stay ready to take evasive action. This time, the driver sees me and waits. But what if he'd pulled out? Many riders see roundabouts as places to make progress, but my experience suggests a cautious approach is a far better plan.